Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to show you a little demonstration on how to paint water drops. I'll be using three different mediums, watercolors, acrylics and pencils, and I will show you each and every step so you can also paint beautiful water drops. So I start with watercolors and I'm using these watercolors from Artistro. I will put the link down in the description box for you if you'll be interested. And these are great because it has got everything what you need for painting. It has got all these beautiful colors. These are normal. These are some shiny colors as well. It has got this perfect brush, which is useful if you're traveling and you just want to make a quick sketch. You put water inside of this and then you just start painting. You can also squeeze this and push the water out of the tube, which is very helpful. Then it has got this tiny brush, some rubber, also sharpener, which is useful pencil and this kind of sponge. So let's tell you a little bit about water drops. It's always good to examine how they look, where the shade is, where the reflection is. So what I usually do, I try to do some real water drops and I try to examine them very closely. I look at them, how they look. The top part is dark, the bottom part is very light and shiny and then it has got this smooth shadow underneath. Light is coming from this way, so the reflection is on the top. Then I try to put some color inside of my water drops to show you how they look. So you can examine them very closely and see how it looks. You can see the reflection, which is on the top. It's a reflection of windows. And then it has got nice dark part on the bottom. They've got various shapes and sizes. They are not perfectly round, but I, I like to draw round water drops. Then I try to put some water drop on my table and that's a completely different story. As you can see, the top part is light, the bottom part is dark. It doesn't have any shadow underneath. So it depends on the surface. Water drop can look, look very differently. Now I also try to put it on my hand and as you can see, that's also different. And the interesting thing is that it has got some beautiful shine in the shade. So I will try to show you three different ways how to draw or paint these beautiful water drops. I put some masking tape on my paper so I can start with watercolors. I always try to spray it with water so it's easier for me to get the colors out of them. And I'm going to use wet on wet technique. So I'm trying to put some water on my paper with my special brush. And then I will create some beautiful gradient blue shade, blue background for my water drop. So I put a little bit of blue on my brush and I try to blend it nicely on my watercolor paper. I will wait like five minutes till this color gets dry. Now it's dry and I can start painting my water drop. I'm gonna use this coin to draw a nice round shape, but of course you can choose whatever shape you want. And I start with dark velo blue. I'm gonna use this thin brush and I'm gonna paint a very dark outline of my water drop like this and don't worry if it's not perfectly round now I'm gonna use my special brush with water I'm gonna put some blue color on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna paint a dark part of my water drop then I tap it on a tissue and I try to blend it nicely. And with watercolors, you always have to keep in mind, if you put some dark color on your paper, you won't be able to make it lighter. So take it easy with dark colors, with water watercolors. Always try to put less color there and then you can layer it up like I will try to layer some darker colors on the top of my water drop. It already looks nice. Now I decided to use some ultramarine blue on the top. 
easy peasy and then I try to blend it nicely so it creates this nice shade on the top. Perfect, like that. Now I'm taking this Payne's grey color and I'm creating shade underneath my water drop. Now I'm adding some more dark color in my shade or shadow, sorry, shadow. <laughs> like that. And now when the top part is dry, I'm going to use my paint marker pen and draw some reflection. You can draw this very thin reflection on the top like this or another line and a little dot maybe but i will also show you how it looks when it's bigger when the reflection is bigger there are so many ways how you can do this and i'm going to show you another ways later on now this is my water drop with watercolors so now it's time for acrylics i'm going to use this pale green this kind of brush and I'm gonna blend it again and create a nice gradient green and light green color. So I also used a little bit of white and then I'm gonna use this makeup brush which is great for like blending the color and creating a nice shade, or smooth gradient of your colors. Perfect, so that's dry. I can draw another water drop. This time I'm gonna use black, earth green, pale green and white. I'm gonna start with dark outline. Again, I'm making this circle and creating this dark outline with my very thin brush. Perfect, like that. And then this brush is old, but it's still good for blending. So I'm going to layer these dark colors on the top of my water drop and I put my brush in water and then I try to blend it nicely, but I always try to keep the dark color on the top like that. So several layers of colors. Perfect. Now I'm with acrylics, you can actually layer light color on the top which is different from watercolors so white on the bottom and then i'm trying to blend it nicely so it creates a beautiful shining effect on my water drop now i took my thin brush again and put some black color on the tip of my brush and i'm trying to draw this shadow underneath and this time I'm gonna create a slightly different shadow because I'm gonna blend this shadow and create a smooth transition between this shadow and the surface like that. Now the reflection on the top this time it will be slightly different a little square or I don't know how to call that. So there are so many ways how you can draw or paint the reflection on your water drop. So this time I'm creating this reflection, which looks nice in acrylics. And also I'm gonna create some reflection in my shadow. So let's put a little bit of that white in there, like that. And then I put my brush in water and I tried to blend that and create this reflection in my shadow, which looks beautiful. So now let's move to the last one, which will be pencils. I'm going to use these watercolor pencils for my background. So I'm just going to draw these lines and then I blend it with water and my brush like that you don't have to do that but i tried to show you the watercolor on the background because that looks nice now these shades will go nicely together with my background i'm gonna start with black so again i'm trying to do the dark outline for my water drop and then i try to like make these dark parts on the top 
and I'm trying to do these small circles with my pencils, which looks nice when you draw a water drop. Again, I will be adding some more shades of colors in my water drop drops, especially on the top, like that. Then some dark blue. And I also add some black color in the outlines. Now time for shadow. This time my shadow will be slightly bigger than the, the other two. Because I wanted to show you three different ways how to draw or paint the shadow underneath your water drop. And reflection, again, it will be slightly different, like three little dots, like that. And also some line underneath, perfect. Now, I also wanted to show you how you can use your water drops in your artwork. As you can see, I love acrylic pouring and water drops are a major part of my artwork. I use them a lot in my fluid art and there's so many creative ways how you can incorporate them in your paintings. Like I love these and these are my favorites. I love the colors inside of that or small ones. So as you can see, you can use water drops in so many creative ways. And here they are all done. Now let's just take these tapes off. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I tried to show you three different water drops with three different mediums. Reflections are different on each water drops. Shadows are also different on each water drop, so you can choose whatever you prefer. There's so many ways how you can paint them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, create with me and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page, me paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.